So I've got the delivery of the glucose test devices. Uh, there's obviously quite a few here. So we're going to go through and I'm just going to test a few. Um, I think I'll test this basic one here, the Safe AQ. It's like a, a cheap version. Uh, then we'll try this AccuCheck because that seems to be a very popular one with um, the apps like the My Sugar app I'm just playing with now. So we'll use these two. You'll see the difference. This should be Bluetooth, I believe, and this one's regular. And then I've got the others to start integrating uh, with the software when the time permits. Uh, but let's just give these two a go first. So this one seems nice and simple. It's basically got a device and uh, the lancer for pricking the finger and then the actual lances and the test strips. So we'll start with this. I won't bother going through the setup. You just read the instructions, pretty simple. Just load the lance in the end of here, set your depth, press the button, prick your finger, pretty simple. I'll get a test strip ready because you want to do it as soon as possible after pricking your finger, you don't want to wait. So in this case, in this one, the test strip goes in and then it will tell you to please apply, the blood sample. please apply your blood sample. So you lance your finger and then you drop the blood onto the top and it fills into here on this one. So let's just set this up. So pull the thing back and put your finger on, apply pressure and press. Ah then you shouldn't squeeze your finger to get blood. So best of it is I'll still need to go deeper than that. <laughs> so here we go again. I'll go to the, you also should like massage your, your finger a little bit to get some circulation. Ow. And then once you get the blood, you should apply it straight on. So you want to go on the tip, in this case here, and apply down and just keep your finger on until it beeps and then remove and we just wait. And it should give us a reading. So, mine's 5.4 in this case on this one. This doesn't have Bluetooth or any smarts in it. So this is just something we'd use and then write down in the app. So the app's going to need manual entry for obviously typing these figures in. So that one's a nice, simple, cheap one. And let's take a look now at um, the more expensive one and see if we get the same reading. We should in theory get the same reading because it's minutes apart and then we can judge the accuracy of the device as well. So this AccuCheck one does seem a lot nicer. It's a bit more, uh, I don't know, feels better quality than like you'd expect. It's got the lancing device on the side. Uh, you've got like a little kind of pull down there. So what you seem to do is that'll also turn it on. Uh, you'd pull down, uh, you get this ready, it tells you to wash your hands, uh, put your finger over here and press and go straight onto the end of here uh, to read it. So just does seem like a, you know, a better version. Put your finger on there, push up. I'm gonna start on low because I don't want it stabbing me like it did before. And that needs to go up a bit. Let's try two and a half. Ah, that was way too deep. <laughs> and then with the blood drop on your finger, you apply straight to the strip and then let go. Oh, the poor people that have to do this all the time. So this has got test in progress and we will wait and see. Now this one's saying 4.6. So obviously it would be which one do you believe, the, the more expensive one or the cheaper one? So we can use that as potentially using both as we go and judge to see if they end up matching up or if the accuracy kind of becomes the same. So that's the two devices I'm gonna try using. Now I'm saying this has Bluetooth, I'm pretty sure it does. So when I've checked this AccuCheck, it turns out the one I've brought has got a USB, not a wireless. So I'm gonna have to try a third one. I'm pretty sure I did buy a Bluetooth one, but this one's wire, uh, wired to start with and I can buy a wireless adapter. So we'll buy the wireless adapter for this and when we get that, we'll interface with it. So let's just pick another one now. So the next most popular one seems to be this Contour one. So let's give this one a go. So similar setup again, you get the thing to prick your finger with you get the device and you get test strips. And in this case, it looks the same as the last one, which is a test strip that basically fills up with blood and it reads the resistance in the blood and that's how it monitors the uh, sugar level. Uh, the end with the 
little feed in is typically the place where you're feeding the blood in. So I'm guessing that stays out. And in this case, we just put it into here. And now it's expecting to put a drop of blood on. So let's do this fun job again of stabbing my poor finger. So I'm going to set it to just a two for now and see what this one does. Ah, jeez. These are really deep where I've got really sensitive fingers. And then once you have the drop of blood, place it into the center to fill up. And then let's see, it was 4.5. Whether I'm losing sugar at the minute with all these stabbings, I don't know. That's saying 100 milligram per whatever that might be, deciliter, I don't know. Can't remember what the abbreviation was. So if I look on the conversion table, that value adds up to 5.6 uh, mmol per litre. So I'm guessing maybe the AccuCheck one was the one that was slightly off on the readings. Maybe, um, I don't know, I could do the test again, but it seems like I'm sitting around 5.5 at the minute. So I've downloaded the Contour app and signed in and clicked parameter because I can't see anything in Bluetooth. I can't see any settings. So I'm going to see if it works with the app and what it asked me to do. So it says, make sure your meter is off and keep your mobile nearby. Uh, press and hold the center A button. And at the same time, I'm going to also run our Bluetooth monitoring code to see if anything shows up while we're doing this. So we'll press and hold the center until you see a flashing blue light. See, so yeah, I'm guessing the blue is going to be um, the Bluetooth connection. So there we go, Bluetooth. And we've now got it in our app showing up. So that's a good sign. And now it's got the code on the screen here. And uh, this is still just saying press and hold until you see a flashing blue light. And now it's saying connecting to the meter. So now this device has got a little Bluetooth symbol down there and the phone is now connected and we can give it a name. So it looks like a standard Bluetooth connection. And you can see there it's already pulled my data. So I'm guessing from this, the fact that this does what it does here, it's got like a log so you can just take readings and then pair and then pull and sync. And I'm guessing there's a, a communication protocol for that um, that says to, you know, either pull a certain amount of data or maybe this uh, gap profile for reading glucose has that standard in. So I think the next step is to take a look at connecting to this device over Bluetooth and attempting to pair with it and then read the data and looking at possibly the gap profile for the actual uh, glucose. So now we've definitely got something we can start working with. So that's the next thing to do.